Warm greetings, dear friend, and welcome to my April newsletter. I hope that you're well and happy wherever you are. I know. COVID continues to be a big reality for all of us, and I hope that in the midst of all of it, you are finding you're finding some joy and gratitude in your life and your experience, wherever you are. News from here. I continue to create my morning musings on Wednesdays from 10 a.m. to 10.15, uh, that specific time. And for those of you who haven't seen them, the morning musings are something that's inspired me, some, some thought that leads me to some quotes, which leads me to create a chant. And then I share some silence with whoever's watching, and then I share the chant again. So if you haven't experienced that on a Wednesday, I invite you to tune in. I'll include links to um, both past morning musings below this, as well as the link that'll take you to the one that I'll be writing this Wednesday below this video. And of course, I continue to serve many churches on Sunday, both uh, in the greater Vancouver area, as well as in uh, uh, other parts of Canada and the U.S., and the fun thing is there are more and more churches asking for pre-recorded music. So on some Sundays, I'm in several places at once. So that's fun. Again, if you'd like to know where I'm performing on any given Sunday, you can check that out on my, the calendar page on my website. As I've been saying in the last couple of months, I always have a theme that takes me through the year. And my theme for 2021 is Surrender which is really about surrendering more to the present moment. On top of my annual theme, I've also been exploring monthly themes, and I haven't admitted this to you yet, but my monthly themes come from The Twelve Powers by Charles Fillmore. Charles Fillmore was the founder of the Unity Church, and I'm finding them just lovely springboards into creating chants every month, four or five chants, depending on how many Wednesdays there are in the month. In January, I explored faith. In February, it was strength. In March, it was wisdom. And this month, April, has been love. So, as is uh, now my custom, when I'm sharing a newsletter, I like to include one of the chants from the month. And uh, it seems that more often I'm picking the most recent chant because that the, that's the one that's still resonating in me. So that's what I want to do this month. This one is called The Body is a Temple. And um, obviously I've explored love looking at it from a, a couple of different vantage points. The Body is a Temple is about us loving our physical bodies, these incredible temples, these gifts we've been given to move through this world. And I guess that uh, that's really up for me because uh, just over a week ago, not for the first time, I stopped eating sugar and I'm just amazed at how much better I'm feeling physically, how much clearer my thinking is. So that just got me thinking about how much I appreciate my body and that led me to find some really wonderful quotes, which I'd like to share with you now. These quotes ended up inspiring the chant. Four quotes. The human body is the best picture of the human soul. Tony Robbins Keeping your body healthy is an expression of gratitude to the whole cosmos. The trees, the clouds, everything. Thich Nhat Hanh. To keep the body in good health is a duty. Otherwise we shall not be able to keep our mind strong and clear. Buddha. And lastly, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, which you have from God. So glorify God in your body. That's from Paul's letter, first letter to the Corinthians in the New Testament. So, as has become my custom, I took all of those songs and I created a chant out of them. The chant is called The Body is, body is a Temple. And there are two parts. The words to the first part are, the human body is the best picture of the human soul, something I hold dear. It's my duty to keep it in good health so that my mind stays strong and clear. And the second part is, the body is a temple. Thank you for my temple. So being about the body 
I know that many of the chants that I share with you are very quiet and peaceful. And But about the body, I had to write something with a nice groove to it. So that's what I've done. So uh, I invite you to sing along if you so choose. If you'd rather dance around the room as you listen to this, that would be wonderful too. And if neither of those things appeal to you, then I invite you to receive this chant, this music, these words, in whatever way most speaks to your heart. Here we go. The body is a temple. song to sing, fun song to, fun song to play, and I hope you danced. I hope some of you danced as you watched it. So thank you, dear friend, as always, for being a part of my journey. Um, how can I best serve you? I'm always interested in learning how to serve you better. So please reach out. I always love hearing from people. And uh, yeah, it's always a highlight of my month to get feedback about the chant or just about whatever's up for you or how this theme resonated in you. So please do reach out. I appreciate you being a part of my journey. Love and blessings. Have a wonderful month, and I look forward to seeing you in May. And the theme for May will be power. See you then. Namaste.